Are you a new real estate investor that's still struggling to get your very first deal because you just don't have the money to fund your deal? Or are you a wholesaler and you've wholesaled some real estate deals and you've made some assignment fees, but there's deals you want to stay in and you haven't been able to because you don't have the money to fund the deals? Or are you a seasoned real estate investor? You've done a ton of deals and you just want more funding for your real estate deals. Well, if you answered yes to any of those three questions, don't go anywhere because I'm getting ready to plug you into the money and all the funding you would want for your real estate deals. Well, welcome to Free Coaching Friday. I'm Jay Connor, known as the Private Money Authority here in Moorhead City, North Carolina. And uh, here on Free Coaching Friday, what happens? Well, we talk all things real estate, and on Free Coaching Friday, I always give uh, a strategy that will hopefully help you take your real estate investing business to the next level if you're a seasoned real estate investor uh, or, you know, help get your funding for your first deal. Well, how in the world am I going to plug you into the money? Well, I'm getting ready to give you a free copy of my new book, Where to Get the Money Now, just recently released, Where to Get the Money Now. And um, I need your help. I need for you to help me get this book out to everybody that uh, everybody that we can. Need your help. Hit the share, if you will. Tap the share icon uh, below your video right now. And this works whether you're watching on the live stream right now or you're watching on the replay. So go ahead, tap the share icon and help me get this out. So this book, Where to Get the Money Now, and the subtitle is How and Where to Get Money for Your Real Estate Deals Without Relying on Traditional or Hard Money Lenders. I will ship you this book to you if you just pay a couple of bucks to cover shipping and handling. The book is free. That'll save you about 20 bucks on Amazon. And here is the URL uh, to uh, go get the free copy. You can go to www.jayconner, J-A-Y, C-O-N-N-E-R dot com, that's E-R dot com, J-A-Y, C-O-N-N-E-R dot com forward slash Friday, F-R-I-D-A-Y, forward slash Friday, and we'll ship the book right out to you. Again, that's go to www.jayconner, J-A-Y, C-O-N-N-E-R dot com forward slash Friday, and we'll ship the book right out. So, again, here on Free Coaching Friday, uh, we talk all things real estate, and I love to know uh, who is uh, watching here on Free Coaching Friday. So, before I give you the strategy, which today, the strategy I'm going to teach you is titled, How to Identify or What Makes a Great Fix and Flip. What Makes a Great Fix and Flip. Um, in fact, where this question came from is one of my LinkedIn connections sent me that question earlier this week. They said, Jay, in your opinion, what is it that makes a great, you know, fix and flip deal? And I said, you know, that's a really a great question. So I, I answered that question to my LinkedIn connection. And I said, you know what, this would be great to share on Free Coaching Friday. Well, anyway, if you haven't heard of Jay Connor, who in the world am I and why am I qualified to share this information with you? Well, before I answer that question, I love to know who's tuning in. So whether you're watching on the live stream right now or you are uh, watching the replay of this live stream, go ahead right now and type in uh, your, uh, your city and state where you are tuning in from. Your city and state where you're tuning in from. I love to know where you are uh, watching from, city and state. And again, um, do that if you're watching on the live stream right now or you are watching uh, the replay. And right after that, I need lots of love and some thumbs up. So when I say something here on Free Coach and Friday that you really like, uh, hit the thumbs up. So right now, whether you're watching on the live stream or you're watching uh, on the replay, tap the blue thumbs up right now and send me lots of likes across the screen. And then right after you do that, hit the, uh, the love, <laughs> hit the red heart and send me lots of love. Um, so, who in the world is Jay Connor? Why am I qualified? Well, uh, Carol Joy, my wife, and I, we've been investing in single-family houses uh, all the way back to 2003. 
so this is like the 18th year we've been doing it here in eastern North Carolina. Uh, we've rehabbed uh, right at 450 houses since 2003. Well, how it is that I'm qualified to write this book and share it with you, where to get the money now, private money, and by the way, we're not talking hard money. Um, from 2003 until 2009, uh, I relied on local banks to fund our deals. And, and for those first six years, that worked out great. But you may recall what was going on in 2009. Um, in January 2009, I picked up this phone right here and called my local banker to, um, I had two deals under contract that needed funding. And I learned right there that my lines of credit had been closed with no notice. And it wasn't because I didn't have a great credit score. I had a great relationship with my banker. But, I mean, it was like the spigot turned off overnight. Uh, funding was gone for everybody. So I knew I had to find a better and quicker way to fund my deals. And my definition of coincidence is God's way of staying anonymous. In less than two weeks, I was introduced to this world of private money. And since that time, I have not missed out on a deal for not having the funding. So, I mean, my favorite reasons for using private money is there's no application process. You're already approved. This book will show you exactly how to locate the private lenders and get funding from them for your deals. Your credit's got nothing to do with, pri with uh, how much private money you can get. Your credit score's got nothing to do with it. Uh, your verification of income's got nothing to do with it. Your experience's got nothing to do with it. It's because these private lenders are loaning money out uh, because all the money that you borrow on these deals, the money is collateralized by the real estate. So because the real estate is backing the deal, then they loan this money out. So again, um, I learned about the private money. Once I learned about it in less than two weeks of being cut off from the bank, uh, I was able to raise over $2 million in less than 90 days of being cut off from the banks. So, you know, the two most popular questions that I get, uh, from, particularly from new real estate investors, is where do I find the deals? How do I find the deals? And, of course, that's very important in this market because you're certainly not going to find the deals in the multiple listing service. Most all the deals that we do these days are what we call off-market deals. These houses are not even listed in the multiple listing service. And the other question that I get most commonly is, how do I get the funding, right? Now, you may have been exposed to and know about buying houses on terms, right? Creative financing, either buying houses subject to the existing note or seller financing. Well, it's been my experience after reviewing thousands of property lead sheets, it's been my experience that only 13% of FISBOs for sale by owners will sell to us creatively. What do all the other uh, sellers want and require? They require all the cash. And that's why this book is so important uh, for you to get plugged in on the money. If you're just tuning in here to Free Coaching Friday, I will ship you this book. The book is free. Uh, and you can get it at www.jayconner.com -E forward slash Friday. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to, oh, by the way, the number of deals that we're doing in our market right now, I only do two to three deals per month, but our average profits now are $71,000 per deal that we're doing. And so when you're averaging that kind of profits, and our, and our total target market is only 40,000 people, when you're averaging those kind of profits, then you don't have to do that many deals. Well, let me move on to answering the question uh, that I've told you about up front. And that was the question that one of my LinkedIn connections asked me earlier in the week. And they said, Jay, what is it that makes a great fix and flip? What are your requirements? And so I answered their question. I thought I'd share that here with you on Free Coaching Friday. And here's my requirements that make a great fix and flip. First of all, I want to be buying houses in a market to where prices are appreciating, going up, right? I don't want them flat, I don't want them going down, I want prices going up. Well, the good news is, in today's market across the nation, there's like, <laughs> it pretty much doesn't matter which market that you're in, 
houses and prices are appreciating, but that's my first requirement. And then the other requirement that makes a great fix and flip deal all comes down to the relationships, my business relationships that I have with other people and other businesses. And these relationships that I'm going to share with you right now are so important for you to have in place for your fix and flip business, if that's what you're doing. First of all, the very first relationship or relationships that I want in place are the private lenders. Now, right now, Carol Joy and I, we've got right at 47 private lenders that are funding our deals. And of course, you don't need anywhere near 47 private lenders, right? Just start out with one or two. But here's the deal. You know, some people say, go ahead and get the deal under contract and the money will show up. Well, I don't subscribe to that formula, right? I want the money ready to go. I want the money to be deployed right now and ready to go. So I want to have the private money pledged. It's just a verbal pledge. I want to have the private money pledged, whether it's 100000 200000 500000 and when you've got that money, so to speak, burning a hole in your pocket, you think you'll be more confident, right? Hello there, Chris. Welcome to Free Coaching Friday. And again, if you're just tuning into Free Coaching Friday, I want you to type in the city and state that you are tuning in from. So I'd love to know where you're tuning in. And again, this works if you're watching the live stream right now or you're watching the replay. So back to answering the question. Um, what relationships do we need in place ready to go to do the fix and, flip, fix and flip business? Private lenders. I always teach and I practice the money comes first. The money comes first. And by the way, speaking of getting the money, if you've just tuned in, I will ship you a free copy of my book, Where to Get the Money Now, that will plug you into the funding. And you can get it at www.jayconner.com j-a-y-c-o-n-n-e-r.com forward slash Friday and we'll rush the book right out to you. So you want to have the private lenders in place and I tell you, you're going to be more confident and you're going to make more offers, all cash offers, once you've got the private money lined up and ready to go. The second relationship that I want in place is my relationship with my realtor. Now here's, how, here's part of how the relationship works. Before we even go look at a house, I want my realtor to give me a CMA, which of course stands for a comparative market analysis, comparative market analysis, and my realtor gives me that CMA assuming that if I buy the house, I'm going to fix it up and totally rehab it and make it look like a brand new home, right? Make it look like a brand new home and, um, and, that, and therefore, he doesn't have to go look at the house in order to give me the comparable market analysis. All he does is he pulls sold comparables, houses that have recently sold in that area um, about the age of the subject property house, and he's going to assume I'll be fixing the house up to look absolutely you know, gorgeous, ready for Southern Lippin Magazine pictures. And he can give me the after-repaired value estimate. What would that house be worth in its after-repaired value state after I fix it up? Now, once I have that figure, I now can calculate and use my formula as to what's the most I would pay for this house all cash. And in just a second, I'm going to give you that formula that I use right now today on calculating the maximum that I'll pay for a house uh, using private money. So I want my private money relationships in place. I want my realtor relationship in place. And the third um, relationship that I got to have in place is with my real estate attorney. So I'm not going to close on a house and take title and ownership to it without my real estate attorney handling the closing. And if I'm putting a bid on a foreclosure at the courthouse steps, or any kind of auction, I'm not going to put any kind of bid in place uh, until uh, my attorney has checked the title and is making sure that the title is clear and I am clear to bid on the property. So I got to have my real estate attorney relationship in place, my realtor, my private lenders, 
and then my general contractor. So I gotta have a relationship in place with a general contractor. I don't wanna go buy a house and as good as I am on estimating repairs, I'm not gonna uh, actually close on that property. Now I'll put an offer in with me just doing my own estimation of repairs, but I'm not gonna close on the property and actually buy it and take title until my general contractor has actually been to the property and has given me their bid as well, just to make sure we're on the same page and the same ballpark uh, on the money. So, what relationships? Uh, private money lenders, realtor, real estate attorney, and general contractor. Now, I mentioned a moment ago, I was gonna share with you what is the formula for uh, what's my maximum cash offer that I'll make. And the maximum cash offer is figured like this, and so you'll want to write this down. This is called the maximum allowable offer. Maximum allowable offer, and here's the formula. You take the after repaired value, again, that's the figure that you got from your realtor, okay? And uh, the realtor gives you the after repaired value. You're gonna multiply that times 70%. That 70% that you're multiplying times the after repair value, that accounts for your profit and that also accounts uh, for uh, some carrying cost, right? So after repair value times 70%, then from that figure I'm going to subtract repairs, the repair or the rehab estimate. And then that equals what we call the maximum allowable uh, offer that you make on that property. Then I'm going to subtract at least an additional $10,000 from that figure just to allow for Murphy. And I'm sure you've heard who Murphy is, right? Murphy says if something can go wrong and the unexpected is going to show up, then it will. So also another relationship that I want to have in place is with the home inspector company. So I, when I'm rehabbing a house, I do not want to close on a house until my home inspector has been there and also identified any you know, surprises that myself or the general contractor uh, did not catch. In fact, what I really wanna do is I wanna have the home inspector do their report and then I give the home inspection report to the general contractor who will use that report as part of their estimate on figuring their bid on the rehabbing of the house. So there you have it. There are the relationships that, that need to be in place for a great fix and flip profitable deal to take place. And of course, that very first one is private money. So again, I want to rush you the book, Where to Get the Money Now. You can get it at www.jayconner.com forward slash Friday, and we'll rush it right out to you. Well, I hope you get, I learned some uh, valuable information that you can use in your real estate investing business. And if you liked or loved this, uh, this free coaching Friday, then right now, whether you're watching the live stream or you're watching the replay, go ahead and send me lots of hearts right now across the screen. Send me lots of love and lots of likes. Again, whether you're watching the, um, whether you're watching the live stream or you are watching the replay. Well, look, it's great being here with you. There you have it, another episode of Free Coaching Friday. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. Here's to taking your real estate investing business to the next level, and we'll see you right here on the next Free Coaching Friday. Have a great one, and we'll see you soon.